Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be adding a visual element to my change in a fraction denominator video and let's see, you know, whether it helps, whether it makes it better, whether it makes it worse, <laughs> I don't know. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. So looking at the change in a fraction denominator visuals, we have to answer a half plus a quarter, but we can't do this because they don't have the same denominator. So what you're going to want to do in this case is think, how can we make them have the same denominator? If you're not sure what the denominator is, it's the number on the bottom, so I'll visualize it here with the little red circle. So we have a half and we have a quarter, okay? So we need to think, how can we get the bottom numbers the same? Well, we know if we times two by two, that's gonna be four, okay? So if we take the first fraction, we times the top by two and the bottom by two, because if you have a fraction and you times the top by any number and the bottom by any number, it keeps it the same, like it, it keeps the same value, if that makes sense. So, you know, if you have three over four and you times the top by 100 and the bottom by 100, it's 300 over 400. So it's still the same value, it's just written differently. And that means we can do different things with it. We can add it to a fraction that we might not have been able to add it to before, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So what we wanna do is, is take the half and we are times the top and bottom by two because as I said before, two times two is four, okay? So we take a half, we times top and bottom by two, and then that's gonna give us two over four, okay? So now we have the same denominator. We still have a half, but we have a four on the bottom, and that means we can add it to the quarter, basically. So we take the two over four, which is our half, remember, and then we add that to the quarter, and that's gonna equal three over four, and that's gonna be our final answer. So the steps again, in case it wasn't clear, you have two fractions, you know, and you look at their bottom number, the denominator, and you think, okay, how can we get these the same? Do you want to times top and bottom, divide top and bottom? It's normally easier if you times top and bottom from one fraction to bring it up to the size of the other one. And that's all you have to do. And then, and then once you have that number, you obviously apply it, and then you should be able to add them afterwards, okay? So hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it was clear. You know, if it wasn't, if you guys have any feedback, you know, let me know, I guess, down below. And then, um... Yeah, I'll try to get back to you there, or I'll take it into account for the next video. But um, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully the visual element is going to be better. But um, yeah, just let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Best luck with all your maths.